Remember that time I fell off the roof? So today I'm gonna to show you how I did that. So the first thing you gotta do is, you gotta get on the roof. But seriously, there's one, two, three things you need. One, a camera, two, a tripod, and three, a green screen. So now we got all those lists of things together. Now it's time to go outside. So this is me right here with my camera and my tripod, you know, doing my thug thizzle, setting up the shot. In composition is everything, that's what I'm doing right now. Then I press record. Now this is the shot we're gonna get without me in it, because we're gonna use this later on in the editing. All right, so now we're gonna go in the shot, and this right here is basically, we're gonna reenact the aftermath of falling. So my legs and arms dangling to the point where it drops. After that, we're gonna mess with a tripod. So real quick, here is the pan, and the other side is the tilt. So the tilt is what we're gonna tighten up so we don't wanna move it. We're gonna keep the same degrees. So when we shoot on the green screen, it's the same degrees how we shot it outside. So it's easy to match. Now that we're inside, you know, we're gonna set up the tripod and then we got the tilt the same way it was outside. So this is where we basically gonna just reenact everything we did outside on the green screen. So now that we have got our shots from outside and inside, we take all this footage and we start editing. First I find a shot where I'm outside and I get a section of it where I'm dangling my arms, my legs to the point where I fall. And then I do the same thing with the green screen clip. Now that both of them are on the timeline, I then go to the outside clip and find where the stopping point is where my legs and my arms fall, which is right about here. And I set a marker. Next, it's time to edit the green screen clip by taking the green out. You go to the effects, type keyer, drag it on the clip to get rid of the green. Then you crop out everything else. Now, you notice some of this leftover background, easy fix. Just go into the inspector, do a sample color to sample out the rest. Time to grab that clip and drag it to the top of the outside clip. Size it up a bit, color correct it, lighten it up. Try to match it to the outside clip. And that's good enough. With the playhead on the marker and the green screen clip highlighted, I adjust the clip by using the greater than and less than keys to precisely line my legs and my arms as close as possible. Once I got what I like, I trim everything on the right side of the marker and then I also put the cut tool there as well. Next, I'm gonna cut everything on the left side of the marker to about a half a second. Now it's time to get rid of my twin, the two me's. So we go to effects and get the draw mask to edit the outside clip. We add our points. We add our points to create a shape around me. Go into inspector, invert it. Then we go into our footage. Then we grab that blank recording we did and we drag it under the clip. So it fills in that blank spot. Now it goes from green screen me to regular me. Next step, we're gonna animate me falling. But before we do that, we put the playhead at the end of the green screen clip. We jot down the X and Y coordinates. Then put the playhead in the beginning of the clip, drag it up to the top, set your keyframe, move all the way to the end of the clip, and then jot down those same X and Y coordinates. So this is what it looks like so far. Now we're missing a couple things. My arms and legs are moving too slow. So I'm gonna speed that up. Now that looks a little better. Now we got that down pat. Next, we're gonna add some sound effects. You can download those sound effects in my description. Last but not least, 
going to add some motion blur. I'm going to use directional in the blur effects. Point it down 80% amount. And this is how it looks. Alright, so for more videos, please subscribe because I got a lot more coming soon.